So this is an exciting day because this is the day before the scheduled testnet launch. Not sure if they're gonna move it back a day or if they're going forward with it, but we'll find out. Let's go check out. I guess people are just not even awake yet, huh? Yeah. The design or the, the coders. I guess. I guess What's they coded all my Who's not gonna like what? No, I didn't say anything about not liking anything. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not liking anything. So we're gonna set up the cameras, try to take a new picture with the manual um, white balance this time. He watched a bunch of videos because we do nice. video, so we don't do photography yeah, yeah, sure. like almost never. So it's two completely different things. I it think. is totally yeah. completely different. So, but two is a quick learn. He's a quick study. So, so um, we're gonna try redo the photos today. Some of the ones uh, you're gonna change. I was gonna say you're gonna show the three guys, four guys, over and over again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we only have those four pictures. We thought about like not showing the team, but like just showing the showing the sea level over and over again. <laughs> No. They say in marketing, right? You yeah, gotta repeat it. Repeating, <laughs> repeating stuff is like extremely important. You always, yeah. you always gotta repeat stuff. All you the time. always need patterns, you know? Yeah. Always patterns. That's all it takes. <laughs> patterns and repetition is basically all we do all day. What's the inside uh, scoop? Um, inside scoop. One more day to the announcement. Do you have the inside scoop? What is the what is the inside scoop? What is the inside scoop? <laughs> <laughs> how's the uh, how's the how's the um, map coming along? Uh, I'm not working on the map right now. I'm making the um, the minor shipping ready, which is almost ready. Yeah, let's see it. So this is the starting screen. This is where you um, where you land, and then you offer to connect to the test net. Mm -hmm. And at this point, it will start synchronizing, mm -hmm. and then. Um, when it is connected, you will see all your information here. Like, all right. So the other day we did some pictures, but they came out a little orange. A little, some of them were a little strange. So I watched a bunch of YouTube videos about proper white balance and all that stuff about photography that I don't really know much about. We're gonna test out. We're gonna check out these pictures yeah, that we just took. That's right. So Atua and I are mostly video. So photography, you have to think differently. We're learning. Let's try it. Out. If you um, turn up the, uh, the ISO, you also get get more grain, more grain in the picture. So I think just bring it in closer. Yeah, right. The best would be to work with yeah with less zoom, but then you have less blur in the background. Good morning. It's 1 p.m. <laughs> how, what? How late did you guys stay up last night editing? Like, oh, we saw this ICO. It's really cool. It was like uh, at, I don't know, half past five. five, 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 five <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, can you update us on the test net? Are we going? Do we have any idea? Uh, the test net's running. How many nodes? Uh, yesterday we had, I think, almost 200 nodes. So it's already started. Nimic.com slash minor. Are you going to reset the test net? Uh, probably not a full reset, but they, there should be some blocks mined. Okay. Lunch time. Let's eat some lunch. You said the beginning. Okay. In 34 seconds, what happened? Uh, well, they, they just had an ICO and they uh, uh, the uh, the Brave browser, uh, browser people with the basic attention token and they raised 35 million in 24 seconds. That's insane. That's completely insane. insane. It happened this morning. Wow. So 24 seconds. 24 seconds. How is that possible? <laughs> So there, it has to be done in like literally one sentence. It's right, right, right. So, so we have used like the term, you know, like a blockchain that is native to the web, you know, that lives in your browser, which kind of... The first uh, native, it's a native browser-based 
that actually lives in the browser. It's, so it's a blockchain that lives in your browser, or it's a blockchain that's native to the web? But uh, <coughs> This is just for a direct email, okay, so sure. if I get it I wrong mean, a little bit... It's, it's not like, a, you know, <laughs> that's like millions of people are going to read yeah. it. Yeah. And we are supplying large parts of these infrastructures as well, yeah. right? But the default miner, the default miner implementation that we provide, it should be, you know, an honest and uh, this this should be the miner that kind of behaves honestly and correctly and nice, you know, it's, it behaves cooperatively yeah, to yeah, other, yeah, yeah. towards other nodes and not competitively. I mean, Marvin has been looking into, you know, um, what kind of uh, cryptographic primitives are we going to so, so, so what kind of cryptographic primitives are we going to use? What kind of hash function for the proof of work? And we are also going to use like a more lightweight hash function, um, you know, just for, for performance to kind of identify objects that we send around. So you guys are going crazy. You guys are We're just going work, crazy. working it's, like it's, crazy. It's crazy. I mean, it's and it sounds like you're simultaneously doing research at the same time. Abs absolutely. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. And plus, things change so quickly. Uh, right. Like next week, there could be like some some new thing or something that you have to look into and be like, oh. So right? that's really cool. I, I love it so much. So even though my job now uh, is much more, you know, just integrating everything that all the other other people did, uh, and I cannot, you know, write that much of my own code anymore. But uh, still, the productivity has increased so much. Uh, and I mean, we have here, we are at almost at 500 commits already in our... In our uh, 500, yeah. 500 what? Commits. commits, so it's basically whenever you do a change to the code base, you like commit your changes ah. to the code base. And you know, it's ba basically just a change set, a set of, set of changes, this is like one commit. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's less likely that a commit is going to break something if it is small. Yeah. Yep. I think last night, towards the later part of the day, you could sense a little more stress and stuff. Okay. He got you pacing around. He was ninja, you're, you're just yeah. pacing back. <laughs> he's laughing, he's like, he's like, I don't know if Philip's actually writing any code at all. He just, he's just doing circles, he's just walking no, back. I say that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you said he was pacing a bunch, but if you're looking at, if you're connecting, you're constantly going from one person's monitor to the next. That's the next true, but day. I'm also a big, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a pacer. If I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm pacing. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, re I'm really serious about this. <laughs> uh, I can pace for hours. That's what I was say. It's really good for your brain to connect ideas to do exactly that. Just walk a little bit. I don't recall more circulation. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't recall the cause of that, but there, there are studies about it. Like that's uh, mm -hmm. when you're doing exercise, your brain something happens and it's easier for it. Yeah, yeah, probably. More circulation, exactly. more blood flow. To make sense. connection between different ideas, yeah. disparate ideas, which is actually what you want, right? The same liquid or chemical in, the, in your brain when you when you actually finish something that works, you know the reward center in the brain, kind of like when you endorphins. endorphins that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, you get endorphins for that. Like when you're trying a really hard problem and you cannot solve it and you cannot solve it and then you solve it, your brain will uh, release a bunch of endorphins and that's addictive. It's the same thing I guess with surfing and uh, it can be really frustrating. You know, there's a joke about programming that's kind of like. I hate programming, I hate programming, I hate programming. Oh, it works, I love programming. <laughs> Hacking in the original. Yeah. The term. Hacking in the original sense meant to hack a system to make it better, to make it something, to, yeah, that, that it does something that it didn't do before. But it's everybody. not about breaking systems or cracking systems. It was just about making them better. Understand the system and make it do something that it didn't do before. But the general public thinks of hacking as doing something illegal, right? Yeah, right. But that's wrong. That's interesting. If I hack something, I mean, like, I make it better. Whitehead hacker. I didn't know that. I, got it. I think it's only fair for Tua to say on the so video it's not to, uh, it's only that um, we're actually not going to retake the photos no, I'm, I'm and explain why. Okay, so, the blockchain well, we had the pictures and it looked good, but they got, ah, they got ah, slightly oh, edited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then we thought those were the raw ones. We're like, oh, they look a little maybe red, a little orange. So we were going to retake them. Then we ended up finding the raw ones. So we, just, we decided that the raw ones. We found out that they were edited. I have just tried to make grobe parts out Last night, he said he spent hours, hours editing and going through. On the good side, I did a bunch of research and I, I think I learned a lot about properly white balance. I think after this I'm actually a better photographer. It's the first time I've like really worked around 
like hardcore programmers that were on a mission. I met people at Shaka that were programmers, but they're on vacation. But to see you guys kind of actually in doing it, you know, active live. I see the, also the emotions. One, one minute somebody's happy, next minute they walk out here, they're, they don't talk to anybody, they're just like, gone, you know? And then another minute, they're just like smiling and happy and they're just relaxed. And it's uh, uh, like poker, you know? Your emotions can go from the bottom to the very top 20 times in one hour. In programming, like let's say you come across a roadblock. I'm sure certain personalities are stubborn and they won't go get help. I think Jeff has a really interesting approach to this. Yeah, well, I, I told Philip, I usually try to do, uh, I try for myself for a limited period of time because I don't want to go bothering everybody with stuff I haven't even tried yet. Mm -hmm. So if I get to a roadblock, then I will first uh, look online and, you know, give a little thought about the problem for a while. But if I uh, get to a limit uh, where I'm not advancing anymore and, uh, you know, it's been an hour or something like that or a certain amount of time, then I will ask for help because it's more important that the team advances than for me to feel good about, oh, I did it by myself, right? Right. But it's also important not to do it immediately because then you are uh, interrupting other team members who are in, they may be in the flow, what we call the flow, which is basically when you are in a state where you're coding a lot, you're really, really productive. So you wanna try to minimize interruptions because uh, research shows that when you're in the flow and you get out of it, to get back into the flow, you need at least 20 minutes, which are 20 minutes of wasted time, right? You know, if I'm, you know, if I'm, if I'm doing something and if I'm thinking about this really hard and, you know, you will, you will kind of start to think loudly, you know, mm -hmm. you'll start talk to your computer or talk to yourself. <laughs> I and, do that. Uh, I do that And, you know, and, you know, people around you will actually, you know, they, they will feel, they will basically see what you're doing, you know, if I can. So, I mean, this is actually funny if you, I mean, so, so for example, if one of our, if, if we commit like a new change, you know, then this change is automatically tested. Uh -huh. uh, so, and this takes a couple of minutes to run. And uh, when this, this finishes, you know, I get a note, I basically get a notification on my phone and on my computer and stuff. When, whenever any of these test runs finishes, and so I basically get this notification and I see him, you know, from the corner of my eye, like going, <sighs> you know, when the test passed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Exactly. All right, so today has been a pretty, yeah, it's gone, pretty crazy day. Everyone's working really hard trying to get stuff done as quickly as possible. You gotta find that in-between spot between releasing it and just making little improvements and slight adjustments, you gotta find that in-between spot. And everyone seems slightly stressed out, but also very excited about this. A lot of stuff going on, and everyone's trying to get their stuff done as soon as possible. And I believe in about half an hour, we have another team member showing up, so that's and one more person, part of the Crypto Crew. Exciting stuff. You made it, sorry for the delay. How are you? I'm Fine. Okay. Uh, it was. Okay. Yeah, I remember you. Okay. Yeah, I've since last time that I saw you, I've become a a, a follower of your videos. Uh, no shoes, right? Upstairs, yeah. Okay. Robin says he's been very happy with um, the work you've been doing. Ah, great. Well, I've been very happy working with you guys, and I'm only longing for come here and like devoting all my time to this project. Yeah. So I'm so happy that I'm here right now. I think, like I said, from a technical point of view, we'll probably be ready. But we're not ready from a design. Gotcha. Once that is ready, then the other thing will be part of that with a certain amount of time behind it. So it's very tough to say exactly when. Probably six days after the actual launch. <laughs>